Hi everyone, welcome to the first annual Fresh Track Spelling Bee. I'm RJ and this is my co-anchor David. David, what do you think we're going to see from these spellers today? Well RJ, I'm really looking forward to today's game. We have some experienced spellers and uh, I'm excited about what we're going to see today. Alright, well let's hand it over to our host Michael Parente and see how these spellers do. I'm really excited to get this show going. My name is Michael Parenti. I'm not taking part in this uh, episode because I can't spell my first name. So without further ado, let's get going. All right, folks, we're starting this first annual Fresh Track Spelling Bee Hello, with Great. Dan Wildey. Great day for a spelling bee, RJ. Your first word is ammunition. Now, Dan is 6'2", 230, and this is his first ever spelling bee. A M M. U N I T I O N. Ammunition. You are correct. Wow. For his nerves, he made quick work of that word. That's quite an accomplishment. You know, you go into your first spelling bee, you get that first word right. It really uh, gives you the confidence you need for the rest of the competition. Now we have Dale Evans, 6'2, 190, and he got fourth place in his fourth grade spelling bee. Oh, fourth place, not bad. Your word is pheasant. P H E A S A N T. That is correct. Well done. Next up we have Jonathan Spear, 6'1, 180, and got second place in his eighth grade spelling bee. Your word is llama. Llama. L L A M A. Llama. Waste no time well done, in the first round, though. It gets correct it. spelling. You can tell he's had some experience. <laughs> yeah. I like this kid. Ooh, now we have Sasquatch, who's 6'4, 250, and has a lot of hair. Your word is jerky. <laughs> All right, get out of here. You hate to see that first round exit. You do, you know. You have a certain amount of time to answer that question. You can't just uh, stay there forever and point at food. Next up, we have Marcus Hockett, 5'8", 165, and can't recall ever participating in a spelling bee. Oh, interesting. Your word is Gallatin. G-A-L-L-A-T-I-N. Gallatin. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have Randy Newberg. Now, Randy Newberg, I think he has some more experience than some of the other contestants. We'll see how he does. And while Randy gets ready here, a reminder that all these words are hunting terms, so they can be proper names and multiple words. I do like theme spelling bees. Your words are Michael Parenti. O F F I C E <laughs> space B R O M I C H A E L space capital P A R E N T. E, Michael Parente. That's how it's spelled on his paycheck, anyhow. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're on to our second round. I think that those were pretty easy for the boys. Um, we got a little bit more challenging words, and here we go. Dan, your word is Theodore Roosevelt. So it's two Ooh, words. Two words, proper name. But you got this. As we said, that's allowed in a hunting spelling bee. T H E O D O R E space R O O S E V E L T. Nice work, Dan. <laughs> well Long done. Word, double O. You know, RJ, when I was in uh, fifth grade, I actually had to do a report on Teddy Roosevelt. Learned a lot about that man. Did a lot for the community. He was a great ambassador for conservation. Did a lot for conserving our public lands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your word is coos deer. Not very long, this word, but mm -hmm. tricky so it's spelling. So two words. Yep. I do know there are multiple pronunciations of this Coos word. C-O-U-E-S space D-E-E-R. Coos deer. Nice. Yeah. Tricky one, but Dale got it done. He did. You know, the Coos deers would be a great name for a band. I'm just saying. Your word is a reticle. e reticle? <laughs> no. <laughs> reticle. A reticle. R-E-T-I-C-L-E. 
Yes. Comes out swinging, makes contact, puts it out, uh, makes a home run. Well done for him. Ooh, Jonathan Spear again. Look at the intensity he brings to the spelling bee. You can tell he really wants to get that first place. He missed out on eighth grade. He does. Your word is stewardship. Stewardship. S T E W A R D S H I P. Stewardship. Well done. Again, he wastes no time in knowing his word. Your word is two words Pittman Robertson. There's two versions of spelling of Pittman, though. Which version is it? It's the right one. <laughs> the one that most readily appears in Google search. <laughs> it's the one that comes up the most in Google search. <laughs> Pittman Robertson. Capital P. I. T. M. A. N. Okay, the alternative version is capital P. I. T. T. M. A. N. Now, the important part here is that Michael. Your host of the spelling bee mm -hmm. is the ultimate arbiter mm -hmm. of what is correct. So That's true. Looking it over, we'll see what he decides. This decision could affect the entire rest of the spelling bee, so we'll be paying close attention. If anyone's ever heard of Pittman spelled with one T, please let us know in the comments. I don't see it with one T. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> well, <laughs> looks like Randy there it was is. eliminated. All right, this will change the dynamic of the rest of the game. All right, this is round three. These words are going to get a little tougher, guys. I'm not going to lie. Your word is riparian. R. Oh, he's struggling a little bit. P A R I A N. Gosh, you're good, man. You're good. Comes out with a victory. You know, I did not know that word. I would have not been as confident as he was coming, going forward. Your word is artemisia. <laughs> mm, can already tell. He doesn't know it, I don't Very think. Very little confidence going forward here. A R T E M I S A. Sorry, dude. Yeah. He Ooh, missed the I. He missed the I. I. That's that extra I. You know, sometimes those vowels hide in the pronunciations, and it really trips you up. Your word is pan-ear. P A N N I E R. Yes. <sighs> Your word is. Kenetrack. Now Jonathan's doing well spelling his words quickly, mm -hmm. but doesn't look confident. No. Uh, K E N. <sighs> this this is giving me anxiety because in eighth grade I was in the championship round in my spelling bee at my school and I got second place because I spelled blustery wrong. B L U S T E R Y is how you spell it. I missed the E, so I'm having flashbacks and I'm freaking out. Oh, I don't want to be done yet. It's like it's been a good ride. You know, like we've come so far. Uh, all right, K E N N E. <laughs> that's a that's a sad tale there. The old double letter or single letter. Single. Yep. Screws that gets them so up many again. people in these games. All those years of training. Yep. Since eighth grade and didn't quite get it done. That's a good time, folks. I'll tell you what, cheese and rice. Yeah. So now we're down to uh, two contestants two here. Contestants two contestants here. Contestants. Just Dan and Marcus. All right, Dan. Your word is fescue. I've never heard that word in my life. You haven't? Would you like a definition? Yeah. Or? A definition and use in a sentence, please. <laughs> Any genus of tuft perennial grasses with spikelets. <laughs> That does not help. It's basically grass. F E S C U E. Yes. Sure, he really parsed it out in his mind. You know, sometimes these words get pretty easy if you just stay calm. Your word is gala. Gila. Gila. G I L A. Okay, good job. <laughs> Your word is absorka. A B. S A R O K A. Mm -hmm. Just comes a swinging. Again, Dan gets it done. <laughs> Your word is 
whatchamacallit. <laughs> whatchamacallit? As in the candy bar? W H A T M A C A L L I T. Whatchamacallit? And Marcus is out. All right, Dan. It's all up to you here, brother. Thank you, brother. You have to spell this word correct, and you'll be crowned the first ever Fresh Track Spelling Bee champion and uh, win a, a very nice prize package. Lepus LNI is your word, Dan. L E P U S space A L L U. Well, so Marcus is still, still in the game. The game. <laughs> Interesting. And spell the word incorrectly. You know those uh, scientific names can really, can really boggle you up. All C's, all C's. A L C E S space A L C E S. <laughs> Your word is Oriamnos Americanus. What is it? Can I get a definition? Uh, the definition is the scientific name for a mountain goat. A mountain goat? Oh yeah, bud. Oh. R. I. Dan with a quick exit. Let's see what After happens. fighting his way through so many words. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens with Marcus here. Your word is Pleistocene. <laughs> Pleistocene <laughs> is also known as the Ice Age. P L E I S T O. C E N E. Oh, dude! All right, so a clarification here on the rules. In the script spelling bee and the Fresh Tracks hunting spelling bee, you have to get two words in a row correct to win. Your word is Osobuco. O-S-S-O -S 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 space B-U-C-C-O. Sorry, brother. No? No. What did I get wrong on it? Oh. B-U-C-O. Sometimes spellings do have a double C. But we go with what Michael has on his sheet, and the more common accepted spelling is only one C. Interesting. Now Dan has the uh, chance for a comeback. Just so everybody knows, now Dan's up, and if he gets this one correct, and another one correct, then he wins. Your word is Ursus Americanus. U R S U S space A M E R I C A N U S. Damn. One more word for the win. All right, Dan. For the win. Can you spell parallax? P A R A L L A X. <laughs> and there it is, folks. And the Wonder Kids from Minnesota wins. Yes, your 2020 Fresh Track Spelling Bee champion is Dan Wildy. Yeah. RJ, this is one for the record books. We will not be forgetting this anytime soon. And as the contestants shake hands, we want to thank you for joining us here on Fresh Tracks TV. I'm RJ, and this is my co-host David. We're going to head down and present the awards to our winners and participants. Yep, we hope to see you next time. Yep, thanks folks. We're here with Dan Wildy, and I have my co-worker David. My fellow announcer is gonna present him with the prizes. Congratulations, Dan. This is what you've won. Yeah, and Thank not only you. that, but $38 gift card to DQ. DQ, $38? So if the other contestants could come up here. Yeah, come here, come up here. You got your prizes. <coughs> Participation trophies, really? Oh, Participation yeah. trophies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you go, participation trophy. There you go, from the millennial generation. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> so wow. thanks everyone for tuning in to the first annual Fresh Tracks TV Spelling Bee. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next year.